Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lesson, you'll learn about the TCP IP suite. TCP IP was developed way back in the 1960s by the US Department of Defense's Advanced Research Projects Agency, that's DARPA. It's a protocol stack which consists of multiple protocols, including TCP, which is the transmission control protocol, and IP, which is the internet protocol. So it's not a single protocol, it's a protocol stack. What a protocol is, if you think of diplomats, when diplomats from different countries meet each other, there's a certain way that they're expected to behave and to communicate with each other. In computer networking, protocols basically mean the same thing. So if you've got two hosts, and they're going to communicate with each other, there's going to be a protocol which is going to control how that communication should behave, how it should work. TCP IP, it's the main protocol stack used in computer operations today. There used to be other competing protocols way back in the day, like IPX, SPX, and Apple Talk, but they're really dead now. TCP IP is now ubiquitous. And whereas the OSI reference model is conceptual, the TCP IP stack is actually used to transfer data in today's production networks. TCP IP is also layered, but it doesn't use all of the OSI layers, though the layers are equivalent in operation and function. So it does actually use them, but in the documentation, it only lays out four different layers. Let's look at those now. So you can see on the slide here, over on the left, we've got the OSI model that we covered in the last lesson. So we've got the seven layers there. Remember, the way to remember, easy way is please do not throw sausage pizza away. So we've got physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and application. Over on the right, we've got the TCP IP stack. So you can see we've only got four different layers there. Up at the top, we've got the application layer, which maps to all three of the application, presentation, and session layers in the OSI model. Below that, we've got the transport layer, which is a one-to-one -one mapping with the transport layer also in the OSI model. Underneath that, we've got the internet layer, which is equivalent to the network layer in the OSI model. And down at the bottom, we've got the network access layer, which maps to the data link layer and the physical layer in the OSI model. Now, you know, I was saying in the last lesson, it's really important to understand the OSI model. The TCP IP stack, for sure, if you're working in networking, you're going to know the different protocols like TCP and IP, like the back of your hand. But when we're talking to other network engineers, it's more commonly the OSI model that we're going to be referencing. Moving on, looking at some host communications terminology. So when two hosts talk to each other, they're going to be exchanging PDUs, protocol data units. The PDU is the entire communication all the way from layer seven down to layer one of the OSI stack. We can also divide that into different terms depending on which layer of the TCP IP suite we're talking about. For communications up at the application layer, that's called data. For communications between the transport layer on two different hosts, that's called segments. Between the internet layer, those are our packets. And down at the network access layer, those are our frames. 
So, you know, just on the last slide, I was saying typically real world, we're not going to be discussing the TCP IP stack like this about the four layers. More commonly, we'll use the OSI seven layers. But on this slide, the terminology actually is commonly used. So if I'm talking about layer two communications, I'll call that a frame. If I'm talking about layer three, I'll call it a packet. And if I'm talking about layer four, I will call it a segment. Another thing I need to tell you here is that packet officially is at layer three, but you might have heard me talking earlier on in this section and calling the communication between two hosts a packet. So really the correct term is a PDU, but in day-to-day -day conversation, often we'll just call communications between two hosts a packet, meaning the entire stack. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad-free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.